just surfing the old social media news feed. All right, check this out. 19 brain superfoods that help you do your best thinking. This says that nutritional cleansing is so incredibly important. It can remove up almost 50% of the toxins in your body. I think lemons are most important according to this social media influencer. Should we detox with lemons? Sure. All right, let's give it a shot. Lemons are ready. Are you excited to remove all the toxins from your body? I am as excited as I will ever be. All right, let's do it. Yeah, that's a lemon. Oh God. I, I feel cleansed. That's horrifying. <laughs> I'm eradicated. Ugh. I want to be retoxified. Hello everyone, it's Dr. Eric Siddiqui here and I have my good friend Dr. Mario Olai with me today to talk about marketing buzzwords. We've all heard them and seen them in our social media news feeds, organic, cleanses, detoxes. Today we're going to cover some of those buzzwords and hopefully get down to the evidence. So most of these claims that you'll see made will be around the areas of weight loss or cancer reduction or just general health and longevity. But in reality, most of the claims that you'll see made and most of the words you'll hear used have virtually no evidence behind them. These are people pushing either a book or a product or some kind of program that they're looking to financially benefit off of. And they're taking advantage of you, the consumer, who wants a quick fix uh, and who doesn't like the idea of a quick fix. So interestingly, around the topic of buzzwords, a lot of companies will prime consumers by putting out content around certain words, making them appear healthy. It creates a health halo around these buzzwords like organic, superfoods, detoxes, cleanses. There was a study recently that put up pictures of health food labels of various products. The same label was then photoshopped with the word organic or some other buzzword on top of it. Not surprisingly, consumers rated these products as healthier even though there was absolutely no difference in the content of the product itself. So what we're going to do is actually go through some of these words just to give you an idea of what words you really should be looking out for and what words should raise a red flag in terms of whether a product could be using marketing rather than evidence to sell itself. A very common marketing buzzword, and they're almost coupled together, are detoxes and cleanses. You see it all the time from various social media influencers, and we dug into the evidence. So there was a recent paper that pooled together the most recent data around detoxes and cleanse claims. And unfortunately, this paper concluded that the claims around detoxes and cleanses are not true. There hasn't been a single quality randomized controlled trial in humans to support these commercial detox products, but they're everywhere. Why? Because they sell. And a lot of these people are actually quite open about the amount of money they're making off of commissions by selling and promoting these products. There just isn't evidence to support them. The next word we'll talk about is my personal pet peeve, the word natural. It's used all the time to imply that something is natural, thus it is healthier or better than something that is synthetic or artificial. Well, realistically, giving something a label of natural does not mean that it is healthier by any means. Arsenic, uranium, tobacco, all viruses, including hepatitis and HIV, all bacteria, you know, these things are natural and oftentimes have serious health consequences. So something by nature of being natural does not um, mean that it's healthy. And really, when you see that word, red flag should go off. And again, this is a great example of one of those health halos where a term has been primed in the eyes of the consumer so that when you see that word, you associate it with it being healthier. It sells. Another health buzzword is superfoods. You see it all the time in social media ads and various products, insinuating that certain foods are a lot better than others. But the reality is there's a lot of healthy foods out there and variety really is what makes up a healthy diet. Fruits, vegetables, almonds, olive oil, even fatty fish in moderation. There's a lot of benefits to various foods. So next we'll tackle the term organic which we know is, is a quite an emotionally charged issue uh, when it comes to performance on, on either side because you, you have issues of sustainability and, and agriculture and the environment. So, so of course, this is gonna be one that's gonna, uh, gonna bring some controversy. But the question from a consumer standpoint in terms of what we can talk about today in terms of health benefits, um, the best quality evidence that we have was a study done in the Annals of Internal Medicine uh, where they looked at a systematic review of multiple studies that were done on comparing organic food versus conventional food and showed that there was no nutritional 
superiority to organic food. What the study did show was that there was some reduction in uh, antibiotic uh, res resistant uh, bacteria. Uh, but again, the question of whether that's uh, clinically useful is a completely different discussion. When it comes to organic food versus conventional food, the evidence just isn't there to support a health benefit right now. And to compare non-organic versus organic, it's pretty easy to look at the food labels and realize that unhealthy organic is just as unhealthy as unhealthy non-organic. My friend Dr. Spencer Nadolsky in the States made a great meme comparing Reese's peanut butter cups versus organic peanut butter cups. Of course, there's really no difference. They're still loaded with sugar, very low in fiber, and it's not a healthful choice, even though it says organic as a buzzword. I can say on my own Facebook feed, I've seen people promoting organic dairy-free butter, um, healthy cocoa, um, desserts with high protein and high fat. Again, it's misleading in that you know desserts and high sugar foods are still unhealthy for you. And to cloak them as something else really is being dishonest. And just to touch on the topic really briefly of, uh, of GMOs, um, because again, this is another emotionally charged subject, no evidence to, to suggest that uh, foods made through genetic engineering are, are any less healthy than those without. Again, this needs an entire video unto itself, uh, and we'll do that probably in the near future. I think that's a great idea. So I hope you enjoyed the video. A really good take home message is don't be afraid to be a critical consumer. Look at the source. If something sounds too good to be true, it probably is. As far as recommendations, you know, generally eat, try to get, eat food that's close to the source. Uh, a diet high in fruits and vegetables and nuts and beans and cooking with olive oil, the things that we know are supported by evidence and use your common sense. And it's important to be critical of where the information is coming from. Interestingly, not only are some social media influencers pushing detoxes and cleanses, they're even open about the money they're making off of the commissions from selling these products that have no science to support them. Again, if it sounds too good to be true, if the person is making a commission off the product, just ask yourself, is this really backed by evidence to boost my health? When life gives you lemons, yep. you make a YouTube video. Yeah. <laughs> so the next word we'll talk about is my personal pet thief. Pet, pet thief. <laughs> pet thief. Pet thief. It's like a little dog. Thief. It's a little a raccoon going uh, garbage to garbage can. Another health buzzword that is really common is soup. Super who? <laughs> We're doing these videos because we because uh, we want to get good quality information out there. We're not getting yeah. any commissions from a big vegetable. So if you've heard an amusing buzzword around a marketed product, please share it below. We'd love to hear it. Also, feel free to ask any questions or comments around food label reading or confusing product. Please subscribe below if you enjoyed the content. Give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you in the next video.